It works. So many of you have gotten either the iPhone 12 Pro Max or the iPhone 12. Like I know from my comment, if you guys are wanting to revamp your phones, like the look of it, the aesthetics, do keep watching. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Thames Fluence. I got an iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue a few weeks ago now. Give me a the automatic money add and multiply. And I've been using it since then and I can say that I'm really enjoying the phone. And I share a bit about the phone compared to my old phone in my iPhone 12 review. But one thing I really wanted to do with my old phone, which I couldn't do, was customize my home screen or my app icons. I feel like the phone would have gone crazy if I had done it. My phone just wasn't able to deal with all the stuff that I wanted it to do. And I just thought, you know what? If I'm updating my phone, I have to sort of update how it looks as well to make it, you know, I'm gonna be going through how to find good wallpapers, how to find app icon covers that are already pre-made. I'll also be going through how to put on widgets and I'll also be going through how you can make your phone do this. So stay tuned to the very end if you're interested in how I got my phone to do that. So let's get started with the most basic thing, getting a good wallpaper. So in my opinion, the wallpapers that Apple gave us this year aren't really, you know, what i was expecting you can probably search go on google and basically search for like different backgrounds um i've got like a blue theme going on here on my phone screen the wallpaper for my lock screen looks like this and the wallpaper for my home screen looks like this so forget about the apps we're gonna go through that in a minute so it looks like that it's got plain there it's got some palm trees the app i used to get both of my wallpapers was called backdrops they do they don't have like a massive selection but they do have like a good free selection depending on what you're looking for i saved these are like my favorite ones so you can see that that's the pencil one that's the one i got for my home screen and i like these because you know you're going to get good quality and you really want a high quality one for your wallpaper they've got free versions and they've got some pro ones that you can get as well now the second thing you're going to want to think about is the layout of your page so as you can see i've basically got three widgets on my home page i've got some more like here i've got like a scroll one here which basically cycles through like the news the time uh mail like what i open on a regular basis it's got the news maps screen time bible app and that's basically it on my home screen i've got three widgets a calendar widget which i'll show you in a minute how to get that one i've got a photo widget and i've got bible app widget so this is the layout i've got going on so three widgets and then four apps in the spaces you can put more here but this is just how I like it. You can move that over there if you wanted to. I'll show you how to move apps around later on. So the first thing that you can do is just use the widgets within iOS itself. So this is actually my second page of apps and then I have Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade? I have the app library. So this essentially I use for the apps that I don't go to as often, but I still need them around. I've got like a battery icon and when I open up like my AirPods, all the batteries come up for like everything which i really like i really need that got some other apps there as well so that's the layer i have for both screens the battery this is within ios hold down the actual screen and you get the apps like moving that is that just that my old phone did not like that at all me moving widgets around click on the add button and then you get like a bunch of different widgets you can get a smart stack which is what i showed you before which is basically like the same bar but you just scroll through the different apps you can have batteries, that's the one I have, and you can choose which one you want. So you can just have the phone one, you can just have, you can have four like I do, or you can just have it, I think, in a list, but that's a big one that takes up half of your screen. I suggest using this one or this one. You can see that there's other like iOS widgets that are available. You can have Spotify. So the ones that I have are the weather widget, Spotify widget, Bible widget, batteries widget. The Spotify widget just basically changes based on what you're listening to. So I'm listening to Paul the Messenger at the moment and it changes based on like the cover. It's just cover artwork, the color of that. So that's the easiest way you can customize it. But if you want to go a step further, you can start adding widgets that are from third party apps this widget here is from color widgets i'll put all the apps that you might need for each thing down in the description so you can just choose like which one you need to download but yeah the one i have is color widgets and i've literally just got the date and the time 
Uh, there's different widgets that you can get and different colors. You can customize the color and you can customize the font as well. So you can get quotes, uh, which I think don't change. They just stay there. I'll show you a better way for getting quotes there in a minute. The one that I got is literally just the top one, this one. So I can edit the widget. So essentially you can change it to which one you want. So if you have a small square one, a bar, like I showed earlier, choose the font. I choose one that's easy to read so I know exactly what I'm looking at at first glance. One thing I like about this app is you can add a photo. So these are some photos I downloaded off, downloaded off the internet. You can essentially like, if I pick this one, it's like blue eyes, I think. If you click that one, you can change the background of the widget and customize it. For me, I wanted a custom kind of brown. So what I did to make sure that all the colors matched was to basically grab any photo and I get into these a bit later on, but to grab any photo, change the color by using the photo itself as a color scheme. So if I wanted it to be that kind of brown and to match like all the other icons I had in my on my home screen as well, I could do that and set it to that theme. So we remove the photo and it's now the color that I use with that little pipette symbol. I don't know what it's called. So you've created the widget and then so your widget is now there. It should appear here if when you've done it correctly. If you add it to your home screen, I won't add it to this one, I'll add it to another one. Add and then you can add a screen just by swiping to like the left and then you can search for the app so color widgets widget that you've created is in there so you click on that add widget and it goes in there and then you press done and that's basically it another app that is good for like big widgets like that is photo widget and i've got this photo widget here i'll show you what i've got in it and why I like it so much and then I'll show you how to do it. I've created two uh, albums in here. So these are both from my photo album. So I can change which album that I've made that the photos cycle through or if I wanted to mix the photos and memories together I would just create an album that has the photos and memories pictures together. So I like this because you can determine how often it switches. If I wanted to create an album you just click on that you call it a name and you call it test and then you can add new photos so let's this is engineering notes <laughs> not that i'd want to do that but complete and then i can add it to my home screen like i added the color widgets one you can long press edit widget and then you can choose which album I'm, you made so i just made the one that says test i can put that there and it changes to that album i made guys if you are enjoying the video so far do you make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos the one that i had now is uh, called the memoir and it's literally just memories and well they're pictures of me essentially um i put them there to inspire myself if that makes sense to remind myself of like cool things that i've done that i didn't think i would be able to do i'm my own motive if that makes sense. This is a picture of the first time I went solo traveling to Europe. I've got a picture of myself riding a camel. I actually took the picture whilst I was on the camel. That was a really scary experience. So all of the pictures are actually like in the same color palette and that's like a thing that you should pay attention to. You should choose pictures that fit in with your color scheme. All these quotes are from a book. It's got a lot of quotes in it but it's like real, they're like real quotes. 2017, you will not finish me. We should update that to 2020. But like a quote, I will screenshot it if i don't on instagram i'll screenshot it add it to this with photo widget you can only have the one widget so if you wanted to have two of these so both of these be photo widgets unfortunately you can't do that yet widget smith is another app you can have multiple albums and multiple widgets on your, your phone at the same time with different in different pages i don't really like widget smith that much i know everyone sort of on youtube that has done these tutorials gets talked like talks about widget smith but for me i just find the app really clunky and not really easy to use so you can check widget smith out what I like about the Bible widget is the fact that I don't have to do anything with the Bible app. It just is a quote from the Bible and it essentially looks pretty every single day. Nine times out of 10, it matches my color theme. You can find an app like that for quotes that you like. That was gonna basically take out some of the guesswork in finding aesthetic quotes or images. Now we're going into sort of the more difficult stuff, but still doable. So to get your custom icon covers, you can either use an app, download images that you want to be those app icon covers, or you can create your own. I'm gonna go through the first option because that's the easiest option. The app I used to get these custom white icon covers 
colors is called colorful widget it basically has like a bunch of widget themes that you can get it basically does everything for you i think it even does the wallpaper if you want it for some of them you have to pay i don't think it's worth paying monthly for maybe if it's like a one-time purchase of like 50p or a pound yeah but 20 pound a year for that no so where i think it has value is app icons these bottom ones here so this is the one that i've got at the moment so if you click save it basically takes each of these as an individual picture in the correct size it takes it to your photo library so you now have all of these icons on your photo library and it's got quite a big range it's got facebook it's got whatsapp it's got settings mail linkedin instagram youtube and it's also got it in black and white so they're all in my photo library as separate icons i have an app shortcut for youtube here but I'm gonna create another one with the exact same cover just to show you. It's not actually the app itself behind this icon, it's a shortcut. It basically is a link to the shortcut app and a shortcut app takes you to the app. You open up the shortcuts app, so it, it looks like that. So you're gonna click the plus sign to add one and then you're going to search for apps and actions and you're gonna search open app. And then this is gonna pop up down here, you're gonna click on that choose so you're going to choose the app you want to open for me it's youtube so type in youtube click that and then you're going to go to three dots you're going to call the shortcut something if you want it to appear like as youtube here like the text here so i'm going to call that i'm going to do it in caps you're going to click on add to home screen and you're going to click on this symbol here i think you might actually have to type it in here click on the icon choose photo you can look for the photo that you want to you want to use so it looks like that i'm going to choose that and that's what it now looks like i'm going to add it done done and that is the new shortcut so if i click on that you're going to see it go to the shortcut app and then go to youtube and you can make it smoother by into your settings typing reduce motion and you toggle that on so off this is what it looks like and on it looks like this I think they should improve that for iOS 15. So we've got our app icon covers. I'm just gonna go ahead and like play with mine a bit and get it like nicer than this. You go for neutrals, it's a lot easier to like match the colors. I put my most used apps in the middle of the screen. So for me, my charging sound comes from like this TikTok, the Russian serial theme tune. And it's basically saying like, yum, yum, yum. And when I plug my phone. Yum, yum, yum that's what plays and that's basically a shortcut so you want to go to youtube and find yourself like an mp3 file that you want just like be creative and find one it also doesn't have to be an mp3 file you can just make your phone read out a phrase like in the siri voice i got this tip from another youtuber i'll link the video down below so you can do a custom charging sound with an mp3 file that is yours or you can just make the phone read out some text that you're just going to give to it so you're going to go to automation and then i'm going to add create personal automation and i'm gonna go down to charger you can choose what your phone says when it's connected and when it's disconnected so if you select both of these it's going to play the same sound when you connect it and disconnect it and go to next and you're going to go to action and you're going to search for speak text so you're going to type in what you want it to say so you can get pretty creative here so we can say yum 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 done next you're gonna select do not ask before running so you don't want it to ask you every time you plug in your phone for you to like hear what it's gonna sound like you click play yum, yum, yum. that sounds a bit dead <laughs> click done and that is there now we're gonna get on to how to create a custom sound you're gonna want to download the base 64 shortcut that will be in the description below your phone probably won't let you download the shortcut although it's fine go to settings search for shortcuts select allow untrusted shortcut so now this is when you need to select your mp3 file went to youtube i just found like a meme i use a youtube to mp3 converter to cut it to size i use an app called audio editor save that file to like the files app or to your phone you're gonna click the encode to base 64 you're gonna find the file you're gonna see a bunch of text you're gonna click on the share symbol and you're just gonna click copy you're gonna click done and then go to automation click on add create personal automation like before charger you're just going to do when you charge the phone next add action you're just going to click you're going to type in text and you're going to paste all of that text in there add and then you're going to search for base 64 it should say text here and you're going to change encode to decode then you're going to tap this plus symbol and search for play sound 
when you click on show more it should say base 64 encoded when you click play you should basically hear the sound that you want to play when you charge the phone so mine work click next and you're going to turn off ask before running i'm going to click done you should see this here so we're going to test to see if it works it works it just makes me laugh with ios 15 hopefully this improves i think this is a bit too difficult so i hope this has inspired you or motivated you a little bit to get an aesthetic home screen if you're new here i'm an engineering student at imperial college london do make sure you like this video subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from me and share this with your friends leave a comment below on whether you've got your phone now because i know a lot of you have been waiting for deliveries and whether you're going to look at doing some of this customization let me know how you found it as well i'll catch you guys in the next video.